In a separate meth bus case, this one in federal court in Marquette, it happened when Leanna Horton and Christopher Brow were in U.S. District Court today for sentencing. Their charges, conspiracy to manufacture and possess with intent to distribute methamphetamine. TV6's Blair Caldwell joins us now. She was in court today and has the story. Blair? Yeah, Steve, this case started with a fire in October of 2013. The couple was charged with producing methamphetamine in a trailer at Birch Grove Mobile Homes. That mess started a fire. Both Bro and Horton had prior criminal records, and the judge did consider that in his sentencing. But before he issued his order, the judge said he needed to protect the public because this is a serious case. Horton asked for mercy because she is not a monster, but an addict and expressed a desire for sobriety and help. She was sentenced to 14 years and seven months in a federal prison. Bro talking to the judge expressed he is an addict and asked the judge to take into account who he was before meth, a hardworking father. Bro was sentenced to almost 12 years in federal prison. Also part of the sentence, Horton and Bro will have to pay restitution to replace the trailer lost in the fire. Also involved in this case, Tina Valenquette. She was sentenced in December to four years in prison for possession and distribution of Sudafed with knowledge of use for methamphetamines. Bro and Horton were immediately taken into custody by the U.S. Marshal. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Blair. I'm sure there's more to come in this case as well as others involved. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot.